Bobby Weeds here. Um, in the middle of an IPM spray and came across something I see very, very often in front of a azalea. Um, finished blooming, just to give you an idea where it is in the year. But um, look a little closer and you can see uh, this bespeckled color on the leaf. Eventually the whole leaf becomes that tan color over here. You see that? Uh, this is very common. People think it's heat stress. Uh, this happens all the time. It's very, very common. Um, but when you flip the leaf over, it's actually insects. They're called lace bugs. They're uh, sucking insects. They're actually sucking, chewing and sucking the, the uh, sap out of the the leaf and if you look closer there's actually a leaf hopper nymph damage which are doing the same thing they also take the sap out of the the stem instead of the leaf but um the tricky part with a uh, lace bug and these are azalea leaf, lace bug and they're common on azaleas and rhododendrons and even i see them on viburnum but um the tricky part with these is that they're um underneath the leaf so you can't spray over top with a a, a pyrethroid insecticide because uh, as you know um any pyrethroid bifenthrin permethrin cyfluthrin any of the the contact insecticides are going to need to touch the insect and if they're always on the bottom so what i do is i crank the pressure on my sprayer up to make the the leaf flutter when the water hits it and with that i usually get a uh, you know coverage on the bottom the other option is to use a translaminar um insecticide um seven um even though i hate using seven uh seven is translaminar um you could also use a um a systemic that usually works uh from the roots up if you spray it foliarly it will be translaminar it will move from the top of the leaf to the bottom um in that case uh you know uh, systemic usually don't work backwards, but they will uh, go through the leaf. Um, uh, and then there's the um, organophosphates, which uh, are very good at uh, um, leaf feeding uh, insects like leaf miners and lace bugs and things like that. Uh, asphate, orthene is very good at uh, leaf feeding insects. So um, I, it really uh, is crazy how often I see. Uh, lace bug it is every year um i see them all those spots are the frass i hope i was able to show you what they actually look like i'll get a better and there's actually mealy bugs in here too see in here those are mealy bugs very similar to scale but um uh, cause the same damage as scale uh, they also uh, have a, a cottony mass that they create and leave um, right at their trail um, mealy bugs uh, can cause significant damage especially on azalea boxwood I see them on as well you can see the remnants of them I did spray this uh, this exact uh, azalea about two weeks ago with a uh, um, bifenthrin um, we're permethrin one of them so that's why it's somewhat clean of insects um, and it is in its recovery um, because there's not many on here but you can definitely tell that there was uh, some mealy bugs you can see the marks of them where they were and uh, let's see if we can find a couple lace bugs there's a couple small ones right there so as you can see that I sprayed this two weeks ago, but because they're so tough uh, to get wet because they're underneath the leaf, I didn't get 100% of them. So this is a look at a uh, post-treatment of mealy bugs and lace bug on azalea. All right, Robbie weeds out.